It's Marco Colbert, Speed of Cover Finish now. Great. So, as you guys have been seeing on all my videos, they all have ads now. Yes, I am starting to get paid off of YouTube. I decided to go ahead and redistribute 100% of the funds that come from my YouTube page straight into making new YouTube videos and new content for you guys. We're going to be buying a lot more tools, a lot more product, and I'm going to review it all for you guys. Today, we are dropping some pretty serious bucks on one tool. I decided to go ahead and get a 100% cordless, hoseless sander. Now, these sanders are very expensive and they trick you because they convince you with the $35 price tag for the sander, then you got to buy the charger, then you got to buy well, if you want to have two batteries, you want to have one that's for using and then one is backup. So they just keep on tacking the expenses until they get you to about 150 bucks. So as you guys can see, we're here right now. We're going to walk in. We're going to grab this thing, get it back to the shop and uh, put it to the test and see, is it worth the money? Got one of the batteries out of the case. They're not very heavy. It's maybe about a pound, maybe 1.5 pounds. Let's go ahead and get the sander out of the box. So the dust collector um, goes basically right on the sander. There's no tools to do that. It just slips in like a sock. My only complaint about the uh, ergonomics of this sander is it is a little bit, you know, long. Normal palm sander is probably about three inches less in, in length. So to get, you know, in those hard to reach areas might be a little tricky with the sander. Um, but, you know, I mean, that's just me just being a little bit picky. These have battery life indicators on them. So if you just push this little light, It'll tell you basically how many bars you have left or how much battery you have left. All right, so how you know your battery's fully charged? You got a solid green light, you got a blinking red light. As you can see, you see two solid lines there. When both of these lines become solid and one, you know, non-blinking color, then that's how you know it's charged. All right, so here's the car we're gonna be working on today. I think this is a 15 Tars. Got a pretty nice factory blue paint job to it. I like it, it looks pretty cool. However, he told me he was at a grocery store one day and he came out and this is what his car looked like. So we definitely got some deep scratches and I am gonna really try and buff this out. So we're looking at probably 320, maybe one really light coat of primer surfacer, block that out. 800 grit, 800 grit. 2,000 grit somewhere is in there, and we're going to go ahead and cut a blend right through it. This half of the bumper is perfectly fine. There is no reason to repaint it. We're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead stage one polish the whole car. Just do a light swirl of removal and get out some of these minor paint imperfections on the top of the surface, as you guys can see. Okay, so that's enough talking. The moment you guys have all been waiting for, let's hook up the sander. Let's try it out. So we have our first stage of colored blender right there. That was our base coat area. That was our one to one reduction. Now I'm gonna play around a little bit tonight. We got a little bit more base coat left over and a little bit more color blender. So we're gonna take this mixture that is one, already one to one with color blender, mix it with more color blender, and we're gonna spray that all through here and take that blend out even further.
right, guys, so that wraps up for this one. My final thoughts on the sander, I'm going to say 100% worth it i have some very simple calculations for you guys so i spend on average about five minutes a day messing around with my extension cord untangling it getting it off the floor plugging it in blah 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 if you take that five minutes and times it by 30 that leaves you with about 150 minutes a month on average that you're messing around with a dinky extension cord and about 1800 minutes per year if you calculate that out uh that's about 30 hours a year you're spending messing around with dinky extension cords, untangling them, messing around with them, plugging them in, all that stuff. Now, the average auto body and paint technician that works for himself usually averages anywhere from 75 bucks an hour to 200 bucks an hour if you run a really good shop. Do the math, guys. That's potentially three to $6,000 a year you're losing out on because you're spending time messing around with an extension cord. So on a profitability standpoint and a time efficiency standpoint, this is absolutely a must have for any production shop owner or any auto body technician that's looking to make more money uh, by making their time more efficient. I'm gonna say this, if you're just a DIY guy working out of your garage, honestly, the $35 corded sander probably will work out just fine. Now, let's talk a little bit about the paint. As you guys saw in the video, okay, my color blender trick worked amazing. Notice that nice, nice, nice fading color all the way to that door line. We stopped about right there with the color blender. This area, 100% full base, no color blender. This area, we mixed uh, the color blender 50-50 with the base coat. And here, we took the already pre-reduced, uh, pre-color blender added solution, added more color blender to that solution, and then sprayed the rest all the way through here. So it created that nice transition in color that fools the eye. You can't even tell it was painted. But anyways, I got a couple more touch-ups I got to make on this car. I got to obviously buff out the rest of the car now to match the new parts. I'm going to get back to work, like, subscribe, new videos every week.